Alright, what's up guys? My name is King Goken. Welcome back to my playthrough of Naruto Rise of a Ninja. Alright, let's go ahead and continue the story. Alright, let's see what Jirai has for me. Let's see. Oh wait, first let me let me look at the training. I got 414 training points. Okay, I'm gonna learn this combo. Uh, dang, I don't have enough points to increase my strength. That's disappointing. Uh, sexy jutsu. I barely use that one, so I'm not even gonna buy that. Okay, let's see what this. Oh, let's see what the mission now, is. You're done with training for now. Whenever you're ready, just go to the arena for the rest of your shunin exam. All right, I did not expect that. Okay, it said be sure to finish everything before you go. So the game is pretty much, you know, telling you that if you go to the arena, uh, you can't go back. I'm guessing that's what it's telling you. It's just a guess. So if I go here, I'm not going to be able to go back until I finish the main part. This is your final exam. Are you sure you want to enter? Yeah, let's go. Because I think after this, I think after the tune exams, I think that's it for the game. I don't think there's anything else after that. We'll see. For this tournament are basically that there are no rules. The matches continue until one candidate or another acknowledges defeat or dies. Right. That being said, if our referee determines that a match is over, he can step in and stop it at any time. Now, let us begin. Your foolish vow is impossible to keep. A loser like you can never defeat me, much less become Hokage. One's fate cannot be changed. That's what you keep saying, but I'm gonna prove you wrong. So are we gonna stand here talking all day? Let's get going! All right, now let the first match begin. All right, so Ned's just being a little overconfident here. You know, he obviously doesn't think much of Naruto. He thinks Naruto's a joke, and he probably thinks he's going to curb stop Naruto with ease. But he's about to find out that Naruto does not go down without a fight. Ooh, dang. Wow. Oh, he's going to get the full level three. Okay, how do I dodge this? Okay, I have to, okay, I have to just... Oh, wow. Okay, I got to kill him, hit those chakra points. Dang. Wow. He almost got all of them. Oh my god. I don't believe this. I can't do anything. I have to sit there and watch it. Oh, wow. KO from one? Really? Really? From one? Holy cow. Ninja was not playing around. He was not playing around there. Alright. Get up, Naruto. That was intense. That was intense, guys. I barely beat him. All right, Naruto versus Neji, round two. All right, shot clone jutsu level three. Yeah, this should finish. Him. This should finish him. All right, let's go with uh, A, B, X, Y, A, B. Easy to remember. Oh, wow. Okay, press two soon there. Okay, he's quick. Okay. Mm. 
Wow. He's fast. Okay, he's down. Okay, he's down for a count. He's not getting back up. No way. I no way there's gonna be a round three. Move. Stop yeah. trying to tell me you can't change what you are. Hinata isn't giving up. Even if you beat her down, she's still aiming to become a better ninja. Besides, if a loser like me can change, a genius like you can do it too. Naruto Sakura, the Sand Village seems to have allied with Orochimaru to destroy the Leaf Village. Track down Gara and make sure he's not a threat to the village. It's the first A rank assignment since the Land of the Waves. All right. All right, finally, a real mission! Naruto, he's just thirsty for action. All right, I gotta do this little tree hopping mini game here. Let's go. I'm not gonna mess up this time. This time it's gonna be soupy smooth. All right. Smooth. Oh, dodge. All right! Messed up. Wow, he just laid out, he just laid out Sakura. <laughs> wow. All right, let's go, Gara. I kind of thought that they're gonna talk first before they started fighting. Wow. Okay. All right, Gara. All right, he's pretty tough.
Wow. All right, Naruto versus Gara, round two. Let's go, dude. Bring it. Give me the power that nine tells. This should end the match right now. This should be it right here. If I can hit him. There we go. Oh, he's gonna use the awakening. Or not. Oh, are you serious? Okay, I think I have one more memo clip. Yeah, I have one more. This is the last one I have. There we go. Gara's knocked out. He's down for the count. That's it. All right, summoning Jutsu time. Let's go. All right, so, whoa, hold on. Down, wait, down, side, up, in. There we go. Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot about this. This is kind of cool. Can I do anything else? Is it just dodging? Can I attack? Wow, that's how the game ends? Seriously? After when Naruto gives Gara that vicious headbutt, you know the had to have hurt. But when he got hit by the headbutt, the game played an anime cutscene which I had to cut from the video. And right at the end of that cutscene, you know, shows Gara being carried off by Tamaru and Konkuro. And the last line in the game is from Gara saying sorry to both of them. And uh, that's how it ends. It just cuts off right after that, cuts straight to the credits. Uh, that's kind of an odd place for the game to stop. Now I think what they should have done for this game is they should have ended it after the battle between the Dirt Hokage and the Roach Maru. That's where the game should have ended at, but that's where the Broken Bond actually starts. The sequel to this game actually starts at that battle. This game should have ended with that battle, in my own personal opinion. You know, that's what they should have did. I don't know why they cut it off there. That's a very, I'll say once again, that's a very odd place to, to stop a Naruto game. Um, but that's pretty much how the game ends. Now, I'm pretty sure there are extra like side quests I can do, but I'm not going to do those, obviously, for the video. This whole playthrough was just to show the main storyline battles. And I had fun doing the battles. I had fun doing the story mode. This is a very good Naruto game. I really like the way that this game is done. This is probably the best way to do an open world Naruto game, in my own personal opinion. I mean, everything worked very well. The open world, the battle system, uh, the English dub is questionable. You know, some of it was good and some of it was very bad. You know, I don't know what was going on there. I don't know why they couldn't hire the actual voice actors from the show to come back and reprise their roles for the game. I'm not really sure why they they got 
random people because obviously those were not the same actors from the from the anime you know obviously i mean you could tell like right away like the first words you hear out of their mouth that was not the actual voice actor for some of these characters and that was a little distracting just a little bit i thought it was funny i didn't really comment on it during my playthrough but i thought it was hilarious the first time i heard someone's voices i was cracking up and i had to take out the video because the voices sounded a little ridiculous the voices did sound a bit ridiculous you know i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and be honest about that uh, but anyway, uh, this pretty much concludes my playthrough of Naruto Rise of a Ninja. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed my live commentary. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I really, I'll, I'll say once again, I really enjoyed this game. I really liked it. And I may even do Naruto the Broken Bond. But I first want to hear from you guys. Do you guys think I should do Naruto the Broken Bond on this channel? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, I guess that's it. Until next time, guys. King Goku out.